All right then, let's put it back together. Come on. Right, 24 hours later, the lacquer is now totally dry and it's time for reassembly. So, first thing I'm gonna do is to put the sticker on. I've made a new sticker for the front, let me show you. Well, as you remember, this was the one that come off. It's looking pretty worse for wear and it's got loads of rust on the back of it. So I couldn't, well, I could have bought one of these, but they're quite dear. So I've made one on my vinyl cut, which is pretty similar, as you can see. And um, this is what we're gonna to apply to the deck. Not exactly right, but there's a little green thing there. I can't print in color, you see. This is two layers of vinyl. I've got some black vinyl and some white vinyl and I was able to sort of reproduce that. That's gonna be good enough, so let's put this on. Right, okay then, so we're looking at somewhere in the middle there. I'm gonna eye this up, I'm not gonna do it uh, with measuring, I'm just gonna eye it up. I don't wanna scratch me paintwork. Just fold a couple of bits of that over there, get this, um, Squeezing, just sort of push the air out underneath. All right, I'm happy with that. Backing paper, and hopefully, oh, lovely! Look at that. Put it off low and slow. And there we go. There's our new hater badge back on. And I'm very happy with that. Right, okay then. So this could take a little bit of time. So what I'm gonna do is put you on the time lapse and uh, you can watch from there. So I'll see you in a minute. Some new bolts here and uh, just a matter of carefully just dropping them in first of all again I don't want to damage the paintwork here two around that side one there right these are 13 mil so if I get down there and this is the handy thing about doing it on this workbench because you've got a big gap in the middle and you can slide yourself underneath. It's like having a pit. <laughs> right, okay. That's that. Right, let's uh, put this on time lapse and we'll zip you up on time lapse. Right, so all I'm doing here literally is sticking my hand under, getting these brand new bolts. I'm not putting the old ones back in, I don't think it's worth it. And just put some new bolts in with nylocks. Very important to put nylocks on them, you don't want them coming undone. And as you can see here, I've got a different colour t-shirt on because I filmed this today, this last bit, and I put the cover on and I thought, well, why not put a new pull cord on? So that's what I'm doing here. And I've just wound it all up, held it with a clamp, and I've just got some new cord, tied one end in there like that, as you can see. And it's simple to do. I had some laying about, so I thought, well, I might as well do it. And as you can see, back to no logo on my t-shirt again. So that's a little bit I've done today. 
because if people do pull that up, believe it or not, someone would have watched that video and seen that little segment in between and they would have left the comments, I'll beat you to it. Anyway, that's it, so I'm just putting the uh, exhaust back on now. On with the carb. Now the carb's not totally finished yet because I haven't got it ticking over quite fast at the moment. And as you can see, I also found one, a new guard for it as well. So I thought I'd stick that on as well. I'll give that a coat of paint as well. And again, I did put the handle on now, but um, I didn't realize, because it was a long time since I took this apart, that the back flap, as you can see, which isn't on, that needs to go on before the handle goes on. So you'll see in a little bit, in, in a little while, that the handle, uh, I had to take the handle back off again. So now time for the blade. And again, I clean the bolt up, put some um, copper slip on the thread. And I'm just tightening this up now, making sure that the plug lead is off while you do that. There we go, all done. Well, there she is. That's as much as I'm going to do to it. It's not perfect, but uh, definitely a well usable mower now. And as you can see, everything looks nice and restored. I'm pleased with the way the handles come out, as you can see, after they're rubbed down. I didn't think that these were going to be able to come back to any sort of standard. I've left the old cable on, that works fine. And as you can see, I also found a new guard for the exhaust as well so I managed to put that on as well so and there we go if you remember this is what it used to look like and at that stage as you can see I didn't think that we'd get it back to this stage we had a big old air as you can see in the front there as you can remember uh, we also had the holes around the side here on the top and also around there and we also had this big hole in there which we cut a big square out if you remember rightly that went along to there a little bit and as you can see that's now been repaired it's had two coats of lacquer on it i was lucky enough to be able to make my own label uh, it's not identical to the original but it's near enough there and i suppose i should should see if it still works and here we go right okay there we go Hope you've enjoyed this series of videos on this just to show you that you can take an old trashy lawnmower and actually restore it back to some sort of workable condition again. This thing has been outside for five years. I basically disregarded the deck. I didn't think it was going to be achieve achievable. Not the sort of thing you do for money, but uh, you might want to do it for a hobby or a project or something like that. Anyway, thanks very much. Don't forget to check out our other lawnmower videos. We've got more to come, as you know, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. And until then, bye for now.